Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Mikey, otherwise known as Alpha, and today I'm going to be going over why you should be using Studio Mode in OBS. Now, uh, I don't think the OBS Classic version has Studio Mode, and even then, it's not even supported, and I think it's a much better idea to go with OBS Studio because it's more feature-rich, and it's overall just a better program. Um, and also, this video does apply to SL OBS slobs, as some people call it. Uh, but there is one feature that I'm going to mention in this video that does that slobs does not have and that I am upset and that's the reason I'm not using it. Uh, but anyways, uh, every time I've streamed to YouTube or Twitch and I've been streaming on Twitch for the last two or three months, I think that's a conservative estimate. Um, every time I've been streaming uh, on the Internet, I've used studio mode and coming from a broadcast television background, it's a way to plan, prepare and prevent an accident. Uh, should there ever be one uh, whenever you're broadcasting. Uh, for planning, uh, say you want to plan a funny moment, you know, you want to do a webcam zoom in, or you want to get a scene ready and something's just not quite there yet and you just got to move stuff around, well, no big deal. Uh, Studio Mode provides you two monitors uh, to, mess th to mess with things just so you can, pr just so you can do whatever you got to do in the background and just look at it before you even send it live and preventing an accident say you don't look the best on your camera or something's just super jacked up or you need to just get rid of something super quick uh having the normal obs uh which is just one monitor and whatever scene you have clicked on is just active uh, studio mode prevents that uh you actually have to transition before you do that and i'll show you what all that means and we'll go ahead and open up obs studio but trust me guys it is definitely, definitely worth it, and you can never, never be so sure. Okay, so when you have OBS open, this is what it normally looks like. You have your preview slash program monitor right here, your stream controls, so like your starting recording, your stop recording, your streaming, all that junk right here, your scene transition, so you can choose whichever one, uh, and you have your mixer, your audio mixer right here, uh, whatever sources you have active in a scene, and just all of your scenes as a whole. Now, the thing with normal OBS, as I mentioned, is if you click on a scene, it just activates it and use the default transition that you have. So say you wanna use a different transition, like a fade, right? You're gonna to have to manually go select it and then select your scene, right? Uh, and that's more effort and there's more, you're more prone to an accident because you could just activate your webcam. Hi guys, I'm Mikey. How's it going? Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Um, but uh, the thing with all of this is that you can send something live that you really, really don't want on accident. And that's a problem. And also, if you want to plan a funny moment, so you got your your webcam zoom right then and there, and then you go back to your normal webcam. You know, the thing is, is that if you want to, like, make it ever more comical, you know, you can go for a cut that time and then go for it. But then the thing is, is that you have to reach over and then spend more time planning the joke and then the joke just becomes less funny over time and that that kind of sucks right <laughs> so and you could also choose whichever transition but you see the point that i'm going for is that it it provides more work for you as a streamer and you are also prone to more accidents and that's the problem that a lot of people are running into so i'm here to help aid that so the first thing you're going to do is go over onto the right hand side right here where it says studio mode and you'll notice you have two monitors one on the left that says preview and one on the right the hand that says program now the program monitor is the monitor that everyone sees on twitch youtube or wherever you're broadcasting live or wherever you're recording now you'll notice you have a couple things in the bill you'll have a couple buttons typically you'll start with two but i have a couple ones that i've added so you'll see something that says cut, fade, and I have my stinger right here, my fade, like a longer fade, and a slide. And the thing with studio mode is that, say, you know, I want to go to my webcam, I can just do a cut. Or if I don't want to, you know, if I want to use my stinger transition, I can just click on it. The thing is, is that I have my transitions at my fingertips, and I've already planned what I'm going to do ahead of time. So, and you notice like when I click or select on a scene, right? The video doesn't play yet, it's not ready, but as soon as I send it live, it plays for everyone to see. 
So I'm already, I'm just monitoring everything that goes down before the stream sees it. See, if I got my webcam, you know, I could do my stinger in there. I could do the webcam zoom. I could do a cut. And when I'm done with the stream, you know, I could do my, you know, thanks for chilling out with us. You have a wonderful night, you know, that kind of thing. And then as soon as I do that, I can just do a much longer fade and then cut the stream then and there. And it's just ever more seamless. And it feels like it's an actual video. Uh, it feels like it's actually edited and it just, it, it just feels ever more seamless doing it that way. Uh, and I think it's a good idea to use and it's a good way to prevent an accident in the future. So just to clarify, when you have studio mode checked on, this is what your stream sees. And this is what you see before your stream goes out. Cause the thing is the only way you can edit things is in your preview monitor. So if you want to mess with anything and you want to move things around, you're going to have to go into your preview monitor. So your monitor, so I'm going to unlock that. The only way you can do that is if you unlock it here and you mess with it here. And that's really it. Now, a couple options that you're going to get when you have studio mode on, because one, you might not have all the transitions that I have, and you might not have the same exact functionality that I have, is that you should have uh, these two, last two things set to use the way that I have it. If you have duplicate scene checked, typically how studio mode will work is if you fade it, it'll switch it. But if you have duplicate scene checked, Right here, I think it's on uh, we'll be back soon. I think if you turn that off, it won't show there. So technically you have two of the same scene and you're making an edit before you send it live and it's still the same scene, but I could turn it back on and play it there. Another thing that you'll have is swap preview slash output scenes after transitioning. If you if this is unchecked and I go to my webcam and I send it live, it won't swap it. It won't swap whatever's here to here. Uh, it'll just keep the same exact scene as you guys can see. So I'll go ahead and turn that back on and we'll fade it right then and there and duplicate sources right here. If you have duplicate sources checked, you can change the dimensions of like, let's say your camera or, you know, the properties of really anything without it affecting it live. So typically the way how I have things set up is I just have these last two boxes checked and actually just this last one because this one just gets disabled if you have duplicate scene on but um if you have duplicate scene on and you have this last one checked all three boxes or just this last one will do you just fine i think that's the way to use studio mode personally and that's my that's my personal take on it but uh another thing uh say you want a specific transition because you saw me you know doing my stinger transition and doing a fade or a cut or a longer fade or a slide, right? And now the way to add these things is if you go to this plus button for quick transitions, you can go right here. You can click on it for a scene. Tra and it's the same way that you add a scene transition normally. So if you hit plus, choose whichever you, one you want, uh, we'll do a swipe. We'll just do that one. And let's do like fucking let's like 5,000, 5,000. I click that, do my swipe. That's right there. I got another swipe. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Or is it a swipe? Yeah, it is a swipe. I'm gonna remove it because I don't want it. But essentially that's how you edit the properties of your, the way you edit properties of your transitions. Normally that's just, you just do it the same way that you do, except you can add it as a quick transition. And the cool thing about this is that you can set hotkeys for these. So you can set hotkeys for your quick transitions and you could set a hotkey to switch to your scene and you can make it ever more seamless. So if you have, so if you want to do macros, if so, if you have like an extra keyboard or a launch pad or anything like that, and you want to set macros, basically you have your own very, very cheap version of a stream deck and it's just that much more helpful. And it's just that much more awesome. And I think more people should be taking advantage of this and more people should be using this. Uh, I think it's crazy that it's not a standard. Um, I, I do think it's kind of easy if all you use is a cut, but if you have multiple transitions and multiple scenes, it's so much easier to manage it with studio mode. And trust me, I think you guys will love this. 
So if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like. Hit the bell notification thingy on the bottom. I can't believe I have to say that. Follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description. And don't forget to subscribe if you really liked it. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, leave a dislike on the video. And if you need any more immediate medical attention, please dial 911. Thank you so much for watching and please have yourselves a damn good one. Peace.